hello dear students in this video lecture i am going to discuss about the continued part of that thermoelectricity in the year 1856 thomson suggested that when the current flow through the unequally heated conductor the heat energy is absorbed or evolved not only at the junctions but its evolution or absorption also takes place throughout the metal of the thermocouple and this thomson effect is a reversible effect okay now i am going to take a one conductor at the middle i am going to heat this one so at the middle the temperature is high so i would like to take this middle one is a hot end and this end and this end is a cold end because both have the low temperature at this end it has a high temperature and thomson have passed the current through the unequally heated conductor so what is going to happen the heat is going to be absorbed when the current is passing through this conductor so heat is absorbed or heat is evolved that takes place in this conductor and it is not going to take place at the junction it is going to take place throughout the metal of the thermocouple okay and thomson showed that thomson showed that if the two points of the conductor are at, at a different temperature the density of the electrons at these points will differ as the result the potential difference is created between these two points right <coughs> this one is a conductor and at this end and at this end the temperature is different for example this one is a t1 and this one is a t2 temperature and at the one end the electron density is less and at the other end the electron density is more so due to the temperature difference between these two ends and there is also a electron density difference in these two ends and resulting of this one there is a potential difference created potential difference created between these two points and this thomson effect is also a reversible this thomson effect is also a reversible the types of the thomson effect first one is a positive thomson effect and second one is a negative thomson effect and positive thomson effect <coughs> in the positive thomson effect it is found that hot end is at a high potential cold end is at a low potential look at this figure in this figure this one is a conductor ab okay at the middle we are heating so this one we are going to take it as a hot end and these two ends are we are going to take it as a cold end point end a and b these points are the cold end and at the hot end c there is a high potential and at the cold end there is a low potential there is a low potential means in the positive thomson effect it is found that at the hot end there is a high potential at the cold end there is a low potential now if i pass the current through this conductor from hotter end to the colder end then heat is evolved heat is evolved and when the current is passes from the colder end to the hotter end so heat is absorbed and this is about the positive thomson effect and metal which shows the positive thomson effect are copper tin silver cadmium zinc etc now i am going to take a one example this one is a copper metal ab and this copper metal why i have taken copper because copper will shows the positive thomson effect and copper metal ab at the middle c i am going to heat this conductor 
so at the middle the temperature is high compared to the a and b so this one i am going to take it as a hot end and point a and point b are the cold end when i pass the current through this conductor when i pass the current through this conductor and one more thing here m and n are the these are the two points are equidistant from the point c and before passing the current through this conductor at the point m and n have the same temperature okay now i am going to pass the current through this conductor then at the point n it shows the high temperature it shows the high temperature compared to the m and similarly point b also shows the high temperature compared to the point a it means from the point a to c point a to c the heat is absorbed and point c to b heat is evolved okay and this is known as a positive thomson effect and in the positive thomson effect when the current is passing from the cold end to the hot end here there is a heat absorbed there is a potential rise and from when the current is passing from c to b c means this one is a hot and this one is a cold so there is a potential falls okay means potential fall down okay and next one is a negative thomson effect <coughs> in the negative thomson effect it is found that hot end is at a low potential and cold end is at the higher potential look at the diagram this one is a conductor at the middle we are heating okay at the hot end there is a less potential at the cold end there is a high potential means in the negative thomson effect it is found that hot end is having the low potential and cold end having the higher potential and when we pass the current through this conductor so heat is evolved when it is passing from colder end to the hotter end and heat is absorbed when the current is passing from hotter end to the colder end right and the metal which have shows the negative thomson effect are iron cobalt bismuth platinum mercury etc these metals will shows the negative thomson effect okay now i am going to take a one a iron bar ab iron bar ab why i have taken iron bar because iron will shows the negative thomson effect in the negative thomson effect i have taken sorry uh, consider one a iron bar ab heated in the middle in the middle at a point c the current is flowing in the direction from a to b when there is no current when there is no current in this conductor the point m and n are equidistant from the point c and point m and n having the same temperature if we pass the current through this conductor the point n becomes if we measure the temperature at the point n it will shows the lower temperature compared to the m and simultaneously the point b will also shows the lower temperature compared to the point a okay it means from the point a to b from the point a to b heat is evolved sorry from the point a to c heat is evolved from the point c to b heat is absorbed okay and this is known as a negative thomson effect this is known as a negative thomson effect next one is a thomson coefficient thomson coefficient is the heat energy absorbed or evolved when one ampere of the current flows for a one second between two points of the conductor at a temperature difference 1 degree okay suppose i am going to take a one conductor at this end at this end there is a temperature difference that is 1 degree celsius okay and now i am going to pass the current 1 ampere for 1 second 
and there is a heat is absorbed or evolved and this is nothing but we have to call it as a thomson coefficient and this thomson coefficient is also defined as the potential differences set up between the two points when the unit temperature difference means there is a temperature difference is 1 degree celsius now there is a potential difference set up between the two points so this is also called as a thomson effect okay if the two points at a temperature t1 and t2 the energy absorbed or evolved when one ampere of the current flow for a one second that is given by integral of limit t1 to t2 and sigma into dt and this sigma is nothing but a thomson coefficient into current i and time t okay and this mathematical equation will give the how much how much of amount heat energy is absorbed or evolved when one ampere of the current flow for a t second of time okay this is about the thomson coefficient okay thank you